Happy fall equinox, everybody. <laughs> if, uh, it's it's fall <laughs> as of today, um, or spring if you're in the southern hemisphere, as some of my audience is uh, Australia. Um, if you want to double your profit, what you want to do is lose less. It's a simple accounting formula. Profit equals wins minus losses. When I speak to participants in my six-week advanced course slots labs, which is starting again this weekend, so register now, they'll say they, they lose at casinos. And so I'll ask them, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll ask them, do you not win? Or do you win but give most or all your winnings back to the casino? Because that's two separate issues both of which are addressed in Slots Labs. This live stream is your opportunity to ask Slots questions. Today's topic was inspired by your questions from past live streams, comments, questions, and conversations with you or the latest in news. If you have a question, start asking them now. And thanks to my moderators for their help today. <laughs> Serenity likes my cat. Uh, let me see if I can uh, make that. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to train him <laughs> take a good long look now i'm going to partially cover it up uh okay um uh do you do you win and leave or do you win and stay chasing more wins winning at slots is easy but for most leaving with those winnings is five times harder the other week my daughter and her husband were flying out of reno for a multi-day trip to los Angeles to see Metallica in concert. We met up the night before at Peppermill, which has a nice hotel and shuttle to the airport early the next morning. Anyway, my, my son-in-law had a few minutes to himself, took out a $100 bill and turned it into $31 on the family slot machine over by the back entrance at Peppermill. He then proceeded to do the most astonishing thing. He walked away. He put that $31 voucher in his pocket, and that was that. Is, isn't that astonishing? Is it to you? He more than tripled his bankroll, and you can do the same. I should have titled this live stream, Do This and Triple Your Profit, but I didn't think you'd believe it. <laughs> and, the ability to leave, and the ability to leave with winning, so walk away when you're up, is rare. I was so proud of my son-in-law but this ability is not something you're born with. It's a skill you develop over time. My current Slots Labs class was discussing this with Roger uh, during Wednesday night's weekly Zoom meeting. Uh, this, this, this one that's running right now, not the one that's starting, is on uh, meets on Wednesday nights different days of the week for the different slots ups. Anyway, when I when he described leaving when, with his winnings, Roger talked about for the first time feeling good on the way home from the casino. You know that terrible, awful, no good feeling of leaving with nothing, right? We all know that feeling. But because of what I teach in Slots Labs and Roger's own efforts not to be, you know, Roger worked hard, uh, he had the opposite happen to him. He felt wonderful. Now, this is only one live stream, not a six week. I think it's my 216th live stream. Uh, it's it's it, not a six week advanced course like Slots Labs with video lessons, assignments, and group discussions afterward doing after doing your, your, your homework. But I can help you with this a little bit now. If or when you leave a casino with winnings, remember that wonderful feeling. Remember it. Because building discipline isn't what most people think it is. Many people think it's all about willpower when it's actually about encouraging yourself. So remember that wonderful drive home from the casino the next time you win and, and you're trying to leave with those winnings. It'll help. And yes, you must do it that first time to, <laughs> to know that feeling. Roger was like, wow, this is a great feeling. And I'm like, yeah, remember it. Uh, but when you do win, when you do walk away with your wins, it is such a relief from feeling bad about yourself. Again, this live stream is not Slots Labs. You feeling bad isn't your fault. 
I, I know it's hard, but don't blame yourself. Instead, blame the casino. What? Because it's their job to separate you from your bankroll, and they're good at it. Not only that, but to get you to blame yourself for losing it instead of them. After a win, do you ever say, now I'm playing with the casino's money? But it's not the casino's money as of the moment you win. It's not. It's now your money. I know it's tough to change how we've always thought about wins, but it's yours now. Some tips and tricks I can give you to start thinking of this as your money as your money instead of you holding it for the casino before giving all or most of it back is this. Think about think about how much you just won. Is it enough to pay for gas in your car on the way home? Is it twice as much as a full tank costs? Or is it as much as a car payment? Or three car payments? Or a home, home mortgage payment? Look at your winnings and take a moment to make, sh to make them your own immediately after you win. Make it a habit. But maybe you don't have... <laughs> uh, yeah, he tripled his bankroll by turning... Oh, uh, no, not $100, $10 uh, into $31. Um, uh, people are like, you know, spending a lot of money. Uh, small bankrolls are small bankrolls. They should be respected. I, I, I see uh, Pod Clips uh, uh, question. Anyway, we'll come, I'll get to the questions. Start at, Keep asking them. But make it a habit to look at your winnings and take a moment to make them your own. Uh, but maybe you don't have any Ish, did I did I misspeak and say $100? Uh, I, I, I apologize. I meant to say $10. Um, that's what his bankroll was, and he turned it into $31. So that's a little over uh, 300%. But maybe you don't have any issue walking away with your winnings, like the son-in-law I'm so proud of. If so, I'm proud of you too. But for you, we need to go back to the accounting formula. Profit equals wins. Minus losses. We just talked about losses. Let's talk about wins. If you can walk away, increasing profit means you need to win more often. And I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but winning more often takes work. Again, it's so much, you know, there's so much to talk about on how to win. Uh, many of my free 1,000 plus YouTube videos are about my 10 plus strategies for winning at slots. And I'll tell you now that not all of them will work at your casino. That's how slots are different from table games. In roulette, poker, craps, and other table games, the odds are only changed if the game rules change. If you know how to win a specific table game, you know, then you know how to win at it in any state with the same rules because the game rules define the mathematical odds of that game. But, slots, but slot machines are not like that which is so hard for many people to understand. Why? Because casinos have created an illusion that a Buffalo slot machine in Pennsylvania has identical odds for that same Buffalo slot machine on the Las Vegas strip. And it doesn't and it doesn't it isn't because and it doesn't have the same odds because the state gaming regulations are so very very different between Pennsylvania and Nevada and every other state. They've even gone so far as to convince you that identical slot machines in a row at your casino have the same odds on each just because they look the same. Is it possible? Yes. They might have been set with the same odds. Ask any slot mechanic and they'll tell you. The slot machines are filled, but they might not have been. And usually it's not a good business plan for the casino to have the same identical odds on the entire row. They like to raise the odds on the one in the end, the one that's highly visible. But that's one of the strategies, um, one of my strategies. So the slot machines are filled with electronics, which can be adjusted to have different odds, even when they look identical. Don't believe the idiots out, the idiots out there on the internet telling you otherwise. Yes, telling you what the, telling you what you want to hear. So you don't have to work hard so that all oh, it all becomes so easy because that's gets them more views on YouTube. Henry in my slots IQ membership group is a hardworking car mechanic at a dealership in Virginia, close to Maryland casinos. And as we were discussing on Thursday night, um, uh, 
you know, use what you know as a car mechanic to evaluate what people on the internet are telling you. As a car mechanic does what a slot mechanic is trying to tell you makes sense. As a car mechanic, do you program a car's operating system? Or do you instead install upgrades and software patches? Do you, do you design door panels? Or do you replace dented doors with new doors? I could go on, the, on these topics for hours and hours, but my voice gives out around two hours of talking. Yes, you can watch my content in the form of 1,000 plus free videos, including demonstration videos at casinos for my winning slots methods. But those videos total just over 24,000 minutes or 400 hours and will take you a while to get through. And take good notes. But my course will guide you through what you need to know. Learning to win at slots is a process. And you can figure out that six-step process from my free content. Or I can just tell you in my courses. It's your choice. There's only one thing you that is not included in my free content. But then it's not my content. I talk about casino data from a Louisiana uh, casino uh, called Cachata. On their website, here, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. On their website, they have, uh, and if you, you go to Cachata uh, Casino, go down to Slot Machines, and then you sort of have to uh, find your way here. I've, I've, I've shown this again and again and again. Um, uh, let's see here. Just to make sure, plenty of people have not seen me talk about this yet, so let me... Go to uh, Cachata, CasinoResort.com. Go to Casino, Slot Machines. Uh, it is, you can't find it here unless you click on this icon. If you're on a mobile device, it actually shows up between these two um, idea, uh, two, two, two indicators. Uh, but if you click on this, the red one, not the, the, the 777, the dark one, but rather this one here, uh, you will come back to this page. Okay. So let me, it has the date of the win, a timestamp. Uh, and let me see if I can't make it a little better for you. Yeah, okay. So maybe you can read this even if you're on a, on a mobile device. So it has the date, which is also the date and the time, the amount of the win, the ID of the machine, the game title of the machine, and there's some notes here, MD is multi-denomination, PROG is uh, progressive, uh, PR is progressive, P is progressive um, down here. Uh, the denomination, uh, the minimum denomination on the uh, multi-denomination machine is shown here. It's something having to do with a Louisiana state law, which is why that state does this. Uh, and then if you click on this, uh, this is HD1802, and if you click on it, you will actually get a map to show up. And that is the map of the casino. And this is the high limit room. And that's where it is in the high limit room. And there's a door right here. There's a wall. Uh, I've been there. And so you can't see it from the outside. Uh, and so, but but people coming in the long, the big doorway over here up the steps instead of the ramp um, uh, would come turn right and find it there. So anyway, that's, that's the information that is provided here uh, by the Cachata website. Now, this is only for the last month. So if you go to the last page, uh, see it says uh, uh, September 23rd, 456 Central Time. Um, if you go to the very last one, uh, let's see here. Right, 63 pages, 63 pages. And the, the, the last one here is uh, August 25th. So it is uh, basically a month, 31 days. Uh, and uh, how do you, you know, what I could share with you, what I should share with you, uh, maybe we can do this quickly. Um, uh, you, you copy... Uh, uh, um, this month's worth of data. Uh, it, I can do, a, 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 I do it once a week um, so I don't miss anything. And it takes me about five minutes, but I've pr been practicing. Uh, you know, so what you need to do is remember to um, 
and let me see if I can go back to this page one. Okay, uh, and I'm going to open a, an Excel spreadsheet for you. I'm going to use some of my keyboard commands here, um, so you might not be able to see some of it. And so I'm going to open this. I'm going to, um, let's see here, make it a little bit bigger. I, I want, you need to do this. You need to do this now, uh, today. Um, uh, no, no matter if you're, if you're in uh, Slots Labs or not, um, in Slots Labs, I'll give it to you what I've collected, but you need to start doing this even if you don't buy Slots Labs, and you need to do it today because in a couple of hours, they will update it, and they do it multiple times a day, and uh, when they do that, uh, uh, you, you, um, uh, they drop off 31 days ago. And so uh, don't wait till tomorrow uh, because you'll lose a day's worth of data. So I'm going to drag my mouse using the right, uh, the left mouse button uh, starting next to date. And I'm going to drag it down to the bottom of the page. And I want you to look very closely because there's a little trick to this. So I'm holding down the right, the left mouse button. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to cover that. I don't want to go too much here. And you see how that uh, OR5202, uh, 5201 is kind of covered up. You don't want to do that. You want to do, did you see the change? Not that, but that. I lift my mouse button. I say copy. I go to Excel. I say paste. There it is. Now it, it doesn't have, it's a website. It's the font is white. So you need to change the font to black. There you go. And now you have that page of data and then you go to the bottom. Again, I'm going to use a keyboard uh, function, go to the bottom, click on the next page, go back to the website, go to the page two, Please, this is invaluable. This is 24 seven, every hand pay at the casino. Uh, and then you start here and you do the same thing. Go to the bottom. And again, it takes me five minutes to do a week's worth. Uh, and I do it every Sunday morning. And I've been doing it for 15 months. You need to get the last, you need to get the last, um, and I'll add it right there. Uh, and I will uh, do that. And then what we do is uh, we go to sort. We order it by date and time. And now this is in order of uh, date and time. Now, this is just my doing two pages. I wanted to briefly show you how to do it. Um, because <laughs> even if you're not taking slots labs, please, 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 please remember uh, to do this. Um, uh, you know, it's just so valuable. People say, oh, the casino data is not available. Hey, this is what's put on a W2G, everything except the social security number, name and address of the person who won it. This is everything else. <laughs> and, and it's only there for a month. Um, uh, so, uh, let's see. Um, but I, you know, it takes me five minutes once a week in slots labs. I give away to participants as one of its valuable bonuses, the last 15 months of this Cassata hand pay data. That's 1,000 and 102,000 plus hand pays here. I'll show you. Um, yeah. So there. And you see it? So this is 102,076 hand pays. Uh, um, now this is, uh, let me explain. You can use this data to win if you visit Cachada in Louisiana. And I analyze it in many different ways to help my slot slabs participants who go to Cachada in Louisiana. But maybe you don't visit Cachada in Louisiana. So how can this data help you at your casino? Well, about 
uh, if you see these uh, these jackpots that end in zero zero, well, anything that ends in zero zero is not a progressive. It's a line hit. So let's remove the line hits. Easy enough to do. Um, and I explained how, but I won't do that now because we're, we're, this is going to be a long live stream. Um, so I, uh, I, I sorted it by everything ending in zero, zero. I removed them and we are left with 28,730 progressive jackpots from the last 15 months. Uh, and that's here. Now I've gone further and I've alphabetized these by game title. So if I were to uh, uh, change how I do this, if I were to, um, this is one of the many an analysis that you can do. I'm going to sort the data by uh, not game title. I'm going to change this one to, let's see, uh, to, 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 let me just get rid of those. I'm going to Sort it. I, I, I mean, I talk about spreadsheets here, but this is just invaluable data. Uh, people say it's no such thing as available. Sorry, Kashad is available in, in one other casino. Um, but again, we can make this like a two hour, a three hour live stream, and, I, and my voice runs out at two, uh, two hours. Uh, so, what I want to do is order this by ID. And then within the ID, because it's a unique ID for the, for the machine, or it's an ID for the machine. And then I want to order it by time and date. Okay. So this is all by ID number here. And what I'd like to tell you is uh, uh, for this Lightning Buffalo Cash link which your casino probably don't have because there's so many of them here um it's a, it's a new machine at cachata which i have asked about and it seems like not many others have it but uh, uh so lightning buffalo cash link uh and uh for this mach for this machine 7202 at or 5201 which is right there at cachata see how this is starting to come together If you look at this, this is a the major, okay? It was won on September 6th at 1130, 1127 in the morning, uh, central time, uh, for $1,425.76, at which point it dropped to the, the lowest number uh, that it goes to on the progressive. And it wasn't won again until two days later, about two and a half days later when it was won at $1,756.98. So what does this mean? It means on this machine with this ID at Cachata, it took two and a half days for the major to hit. And it hit for those amounts. And you can check the previous day was two days. The next time was... Uh, what, uh, seven days, but then it was so much higher. It takes longer to climb higher. And so you can look at the, you can see how often does this hit. Okay, but let's move away from what you might use to win at, at, at Cachata and consider, I mean, that would tell you about, if you have that machine at your casino, what it would tell you. Now, one of the other things that would also tell you is, um, you could, if you have enough data, let's see, I want to, oh, uh, image, right. Uh, yeah. So looking at, fifth, not one month, but looking at 15 months worth of data, this is Huff and more Puff. Uh, let me try to uh, make myself so it's not blocking the view um, right there. Yeah. Uh, okay. So this, uh, this group of, hits. Uh, these are the majors below this point. Above here, this is the grands. Uh, and then this is uh, this is one type of machine, which is the one cent denomination. This is a 
10 cent denomination machine because we can separate out those. So a high limit huff and more puff and a low limit huff and more puff. And we can see where the peaks are and we can learn. And this applies not just to Pichata, but it also applies to your casino for huff and more puff. Or whatever casino, whatever slot machine the uh, Kashada has in the slots labs, you tell me what progressives that you like, and I will do a graph like this for your machine. And not only that, I'll give you the 15 months worth of data, uh, but only in the course. Um, okay, so where are we at? Um, I want to share this. Right. So Slots Labs is, uh, is starting on Monday, uh, or rather starting at uh, tomorrow. Uh, and if you go to the website, uh, Slots Labs, you can either get it there in, in one of two ways. You can either go to um, professorslots.com. Come on. Uh, not that one. What, what, what's the other one? Ah, yes. Uh, you can go to slots labs, professorslots.com slash SL, or you can go to, and where is it? There it is. You can go to professorslots.com. You can click on courses, sign in. That will take you uh, to all my courses. Click on slots labs. Uh, this is the one that's beginning tomorrow. Uh, and uh, you can find out a bunch of information on it. Now I have reduced the, uh, Slot Slabs participants enjoy taking the course again because they feel like there's more to learn. That they they absorbed as much as they could, but they there's they saw that there was more to absorb. So as they move forward, they come back and take it again. And I've been offering it at half price for people who want to retake it. But I decided that was not fair. I decided that was unfair for everybody else. Uh, so now I have made it half off permanently for everybody. Yeah. Uh, so if you uh, were to look at this, you can see that it is uh, $249. Um, maybe it would help if I made that a little bit bigger. Should I Let's see? Maybe. Yeah, you can sort of maybe read it a little better. Um, it, there's also an option to pay uh, three monthly payments of $97. Uh, the course is, you know, please res register by midnight Pacific time. Uh, uh, the first meeting, the Zoom meeting, a weekly Zoom meeting for this one. Um, I'm already doing one on Tuesday night. We're, we're starting week three. Um, uh, so this is going to be starting on Tuesday night. So I'll be doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, slot slabs, uh, each a different course. What you get, uh, all this is described here. This will fill out um, once. I only give you the, the welcome section uh, now, uh, but if you were... But on tomorrow, I will uh, make session one available, foundational work. Uh, and then as each week progresses, six weeks become available. There also, there's also a bonus section with the Kashada data. Um, that These are the prices and how you can pay for them. PayPal uh, can be used for the one-time purchase uh, and debit and credit cards, but only debit and credit cards can be used for the monthly payments because PayPal doesn't like to do that. Um, you also receive cash out of hand data, uh, which is just invaluable. You get 30 days to play Slot Smarter and uh, win if you don't already have it. You get my record keeping templates, not just the spreadsheets, but you get the course uh, uh, for that. Uh, and there's some warnings here about what you want to uh, be careful about. Uh, it does take a bit of effort. Um, it is a serious course. Uh, and um, five to six hours a week. You are not going to need any money. Uh, it is optional uh, entirely to, to play at the casino. Uh, that is, uh, you probably should just take the full course and then go to the casino, but then bet at the casino. If you can, if it's not too far away, uh, part of the home, some of the homework assignments are to walk around the casino but not to spend money, but to walk around and, and start looking for the stuff I'm going to point out to you. And that's me. And there's a meal and Hetty is over in her uh, soft, comfy, comfy tube. Um, but, uh, and, and a meal is up here. <laughs> 
taking a nap. <laughs> Isn't that nice? I, I'm training him to sit higher, and, and I'm trying to sit higher so I can show him in the in the frame, uh, and uh, or I could maybe get a lower bookcase. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so, so I give away to participants as one of its valuable bonuses the last 15 months of this Kashada hand pay data. Uh, this is also um, let's see here. Yes. Uh, uh, that's 102,000 plus hand pays. Uh, by the end of this upcoming slot slabs, that lasts six weeks, that's a month and a half. So it could be coming up to 17 months. So every week I update the spreadsheet. So you have the, the latest. I don't do it daily. I do it weekly. Uh, and uh, so that's what you get with Slots Labs. That alone is a bonus, uh, but we need to talk about how to win, how to combine winning methods, as I dem demonstrate in my demonstration videos. Um, I do also demonstrate walking away. Uh, it's a lot that going on in those videos, and, um, uh, and then we also talk about uh, learning leaving with winnings that in, in slot slabs that's so important it's it's so much harder than winning um uh and uh you know I, I, again i i have and have talked for hours on these topics um and uh leaving with winnings i used to do just one section one week was uh, leaving with winnings walking away i call it uh, session three, uh, and uh, that uh, was so important. We realized in the early slot slabs that now I give lessons every week to work on, and then we talk about brain chemistry and what the casino's uh, purpose for doing all this and our response to it um, and why, so that you know what's going on. And, you know, otherwise you're like a deer in the headlights uh, with many casinos. Um, people uh, are just like impacted so hard by that. Um, so uh, I, I analyze that data in many different ways to help my slot slabs participants, but maybe you don't visit that casino. Uh, so yeah, we can do use the 28,000 plus uh, uh, hand pay datas. Um, uh, you know, if you were, if you were to, um, you know, look at just the line hits, you could uh, find out which slot machines are in a circular carousel that have been set to win, the one that's highly visible. And you can plot the data. I mean, how much of a spreadsheet analysis can you do? I'm just tip of the iceberg stuff. And I mean, if there was any other educational slots channel that that you know provided casino data and, and all these other things, that wasn't just like totally trying to rip you off. <laughs> um, if there was any other, I mean, I was hoping that there'd be like 50. 50 educational slots channels seeing what I'm doing and doing it, uh, you know, also, in which case I would do the spreadsheet data and let them handle, you know, Louisiana and, 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 and Michigan and, and Pennsylvania and be specialists on their state. But none of that ever happened. Uh, it didn't become popular. It's just me. And so I have to talk about everything. Uh, but I tell you, I could just work on spreadsheets all day long and I would just be happy as a mug of a, a pig in mud <laughs> so <laughs> sort of um, i feel more positive about spreadsheets than that but maybe you don't um so but again maybe you're uh, not in louisiana but this data is useful for outside of, if you look at the progressive jackpots um and i showed you what that looks like again all this takes far more time to explain than a one hour live stream and i usually cut this this initial introduction off at like 20 minutes 15 20 minutes and i'm already past half hour uh and so I, you know i could go on and on um uh, but i want to get to your questions but my next offering of slots labs now at a reduced cost uh and let me show that again is starting, there you go, let me do that, is starting in 14 hours and 25 minutes. The registration is. Uh, tomorrow morning is when I will be um, uh, uh, making all that available. But registration will close early uh, if I reach 20 participants. Uh, so don't let it, somebody else take your seat. Uh, let's get to the questions. Uh, and um, put back 
this. Uh, questions, questions, questions. Let's see. Uh, Susan, who uh, has been having a lot of success, having taken Slots Labs, uh, is from Michigan. Hello from, from Michigan, Susan. Uh, uh, Mary Ellen is from R Rhode Island, um, uh, rainy south of Boston. Yeah, aren't you getting hit like by a tropical storm or a hurricane? Um, please take care, everybody. Uh, and again, happy fall. Today's fall equinox. Uh, Serena C., who likes my cats, <laughs> so, uh, says, good morning, sweet kitty. And, and she's uh, he is uh, um, totally ignoring you. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and the other one's uh, sleeping over there. I wish I could show you. Uh, sleeping in a little tube. Uh, yeah, it, he is a big cat. Um, he is a big cat. And the other one's particularly small, but she's very intimidating. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mary Ellen says, he's auditing today's webinar. <laughs> Um, yes, pod clips. As I explained, I, I perhaps I said a hundred dollars. He, I, I bring in a hundred dollars. He brought in ten dollars and risked it and made thirty-one dollars and just walked away. Yeah. And uh, pod clips heard me. Um, good morning, Steve. Welcome. Uh, uh, let's <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, let's make sure to hit the like button. Um, if you would, uh, let's manipulate the YouTube uh, central server <laughs> like a, a good little slots player is trying to manipulate the central server at a casino and uh, get more people to visit uh, uh, this live stream, the more the merrier. Uh, Shawana, uh, who goes to Detroit, I believe. Uh, hello, many uh, blessings to everyone. Thank you, uh, Shawana. You too. Um, and... It's lots of fun. One of my uh, moderators is saying hello. There's a lot of chatting going on during these live streams. I think it's my 217th uh, and or 16th, something like that. And so uh, people have really say hello to each other, and this is where they talk and chat. And and so please, if you're going to ask me a question, use hashtag question at the beginning of your your question uh, so I can spot it. Otherwise, I, I, I say, oh, well, uh, it's lots of fun is talking to Steve, and Steve is talking to lots of fun, and okay. Uh, pod clips. Here in Virginia, we have Henry from Virginia. Oh, uh, Henry, I mentioned Henry, the car mechanic uh, for Virginia who goes is close to Maryland casinos and goes to the Maryland casinos. His wife is having a scheduled birth uh, today. He said Thursday, two days. So that's today, and I wish want to wish him, his family, um, uh, his 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 wife, uh, you know, all the best, and I hope everything goes great. Uh, so thank you, and uh, you know, thanks for letting us know, Henry. I know you're going to be away for a month or two. Uh, you know, take care of your family. Uh, congratulations. Um, okay, pod clips here in Virginia. We have gas station skill slots, and recently I've been seeing non-skill based slots such as Buffalo Gold and other Buffalo games, just like you've seen in Vegas. Odds aren't even so, uh, similar. Um, okay, so if we go to um, uh, Professor Slots, I'm going to open another window here. And um, go to Professor Slots. You should go to professorslots.com. Type in professorslots.com slash VA for, for Virginia. And you'll come upon my Virginia Slots article. I have one for every state, territory, and federal district. Uh, professorslots.com slash the two-letter postal designation. Now, this they're all uh, uh, have the same sections, uh, more or less in those sections, depending on what's going on. Let's take a look here. Uh, relevant legal statutes, okay. Um, in 2000, March 22nd, 2019, uh, let's see if I can make myself small so you can maybe read this on a mobile device. Uh, um, the state bill 1126 was signed into law. It does not authorize casinos in Virginia. However, what it does is establishes a commission 
puts a, together a framework for the lottery board to oversee gaming and how eligible cities can conduct a local casino approval referendum, which they proceeded to do in Danville, Bristol, and Portsmouth. So you said uh, you have ca uh, gas station slots, uh, skill slots, um, and uh, but there are three casinos. Every one of these uh, articles for every state, federal district, and territory has a map. So uh, there's also a tribal casino in Norfolk called Headwaters that they're working on. Now, the I believe all three, hard, the Hard Rock, Horseshoe, and Rivers, um, are open, but I believe that the casino resorts are not built yet because it takes a while uh, and the whole pandemic things uh, slowed things down. Uh, but they put in a temporary facility to start making money, <laughs> which, you know, kind of it's it's mm, bigger than a gas station. <laughs> uh, and so uh, that's what you can find. Now, there's also this whole um, kind of skill-based uh, gaming that can take place. Sometimes it's illegal. Sometimes it's a gray area in various states. There's also sweepstakes games. There's actually multiple ways to have uh, uh, slots in your state. And the historic horse racing, um, you know, by far like 99% or 95% of all slots are what you'd find in Las Vegas. Uh, and, uh, but in some states there are other things going on. Some of them are illegal. Some of them are not illegal. Um, and so, uh, Virginia has, you know, push coins, right? Arcade games, almost scale-based, uh, slot gas stations. Um, it, it's all sort of a different, uh, 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 subtle method and when you're desperate you're trying to find anything i mean not desperate but when you really want to play slots and your state doesn't offer them uh those poor people in texas right who just please let's you know let's have a casino but they have skill-based games and two tribal casinos on either one on either side of the state I mean, it's a big state uh yeah so uh if you know the odds uh then you know there there there's a section here um towards the end, uh, that uh, Section K of Chapter 90, Casino Gaming, under Section 150, Slot Machines, says that the minimum theoretical payout is 84% and maximum is 100% over the lifetime of the game. Oh, thank goodness. Because if it's per wager, then like Pennsylvania has and Mississippi has, then it's like, oh, Sucks to be you. And casinos don't like it either because they can't set machines to be over 100% because it's, the state law says no. And so um, can you see that? Can you read that? So section K uh, says this. And uh, But that's over the lifetime of the game. Now, the, the, how old are the games at these casinos? Two months? So the lifetime is not very long. It would be great, better if it was like the lifetime over five years or 10 years or even two years or even one year. Um, and so these are the rules and you can take advantage of those rules. Uh, and um, there is uh, once every three months quarterly reports from the Gaming Commission. Uh, uh, they have presentations and I show, tell you where to go and give you the link and what to look for. Um, the gaming regulate the, the Virginia Lottery has gaming updates uh, presented at the Virginia Lottery Board quarterly meetings, and they will talk about what are the uh, uh, revenue reports, including cash one, cash played, and cash one, which are the two numbers you need to calculate player win percent. And for Hard Rock in Bristol, it was ninety point thirty two percent. Now. That's a little low. Um, Indiana is the lowest I've seen of the 20 states that offer this sort of data, only monthly. They're around 90%. Uh, Las Vegas is around 93%. I'm sorry, am I boring you? <laughs> um, uh, so this, we can do something like this. We can see what each state offers. Um, and this is, this is what you need to know. Uh, again, not entirely easy uh, to do, but... You know, fact-based 
spreadsheet based look at the legal gaming requirements to take advantage of your casino uh you know for your state this this is how you play slots i know if you if you just want to go in and get drunk and you know who am i to say you can't do that enjoy what art wants what the heart wants but if you want to win you work you work on winning and then you work even harder on getting out because they're working hard to prevent that <laughs> makes sense right uh Uh, question, remind us the best way to find the odds on different types of games. Uh, I don't know of any state that offers state data uh, on different types of games. It's either all or nothing. All right. Uh, and Questions back and forth. Uh, Minnesota three says uh, hello, everyone, and hello. Uh, uh, these spreadsheets would fill in Jerry McGuire's "Show me the money." Thank you for the quick how-to. Yeah, uh, please. You know, no matter what, you should be pulling that data. And if you like spreadsheets or you have a nephew <laughs> who likes spreadsheets, I don't know, does he have to be 21? I'm not sure. Uh, you know, have him make some graphs for you. You know, it's just crazy interesting what these graphs look like. I mean, I'm not even, um, you know, I haven't even, I annotate these graphs for the people in Slots Labs and I, I point out all the features that's available in it. And it's just Useful, useful, useful. Um, one month, eh, not so much. Uh, 15 months, oh yeah. I mean, this is uh, what? 540 hand pays on all Huff and More Puff slot machines at Kashada. 24-7. None were missed. No. Uh, if you don't see the value of that, <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, well, we can still teach you how to learn how to leave with your winnings. Um, <laughs> Steve's like, this information is priceless. I'm like, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, Leland um, uh, walked into an MGM casino last night. There was a sign saying all promotions are temporarily canceled because they still have problems. Uh, I, I read a news report on Thursday that um, uh, somebody in my slots IQ membership group shared with me that they had fixed everything. Um, uh, MGM had because of the uh, the the, the uh, ransomware hack, the ransomware attack, uh, and and I talked about that one week ago. Even changed the title of my live stream from a week ago so that it actually said MGM Caesars attacks, ransomware attacks. Uh, so. Um, yeah, they, 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 the article I saw uh, said that they had estimated they lost $80 million in revenue. Yeah. Uh, Steve says, this just shows you at the MGM and other casinos how important the casino central service systems are to their business. If they weren't and slot machines ran by the, 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 there, the, there would be no wor worries. Okay, I'm not quite. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's one of the things <laughs> that some people, some channels were like, and this, you know, you can see that, that um, this is why you don't want to have a central server. And I'm like, so it proves it has a central server, right? <laughs> uh, but some channels live in a bubble uh, again to get your views and make money uh, which they don't tell you yeah it's sad um, I, I, I feel bad about um, one of my students who decided to do all that and go that route um, you know go the misinformation route I had such high hopes for them um, anyway but you know I can't police the internet uh, Susan says, if anybody here has not had the opportunity to take Slots Labs, I would encourage you to take it. Walk away with your dollars. Um, uh, thank you, Susan. Uh, and Shawana, who was also taking it, uh, says, I took Slots Labs once. I will be taking it again. Slots Labs makes me think. Uh, and Fun says he has been to the Hard Rock in Bristol. I, I know you had. I was wondering if you were going to comment. Tell us more. 
a smasher 39. I'm one of those poor people in Texas. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but at least you're not in uh, uh, Mississippi or Pennsylvania, which is like a cringe. Um, uh, you can find a machine. The best you can do is find a machine you can break even on because the casino is not allowed by state law per win, per machine, to set a machine over 100%. But you work with what you got. Uh, I'm one of those poor people. I have to go north and cross the border to Oklahoma to get to my nearest casino. Well, in my Oklahoma report, um, do you know that as a non-resident uh, of Oklahoma, gambling in Oklahoma, you can only, there's a cap on how much you can deduct in gambling deductions. Uh, if you have gambling deductions. But if you don't have gambling deductions, you're only one jackpot away from being able to deduct uh, gambling deductions. Uh, and so uh, be aware it, people have, uh, suddenly started winning in Oklahoma and didn't live in Oklahoma, suddenly found out about that uh, at a later time. And, you know, um, tax burdens are not good. They're terrible. But surprise tax burdens are worse. Okay. Uh, and talking back and forth between people, it's wonderful. Question from Steve How long, in your opinion, are the casino central servers set to pay for like two, five, 10 minute intervals on the hour or the times at my local? It seems like five minutes. Um, it depends on every casino. I, I, you know, there's very little that I can say applies across the U.S. with all the different slot machine game reg gaming regulations. There's only a few things I can say, like choices that casinos make. One thing that is just clear is try not to play penny denomination slot machines because they have the worst slot odds. So if you're on a multi-denomination machine and you're making, I don't know, 80 cent bets, see if you can bet the $2 denomination 40 cent bets or 40 credits to make it 80 cent bets. And then you you just do better. It just increases your baseline. Man, there's so much we could, we could talk about here. Um, and I, I, that's why I started having classes um, so that you can see the big picture. Uh, uh, um, uh, thank you, uh, Jill, for your uh, donation. It is very much appreciated. Uh, Jill says, not boring at all. <laughs> and uh, thank you. And and Shawana says, uh, uh, there, people are talking to... Uh, um, uh, new slot celebrity to you, jackpot famous, puts in practice and shows you like your five tastes, uh, sorta, sorta. Yeah, I, um, I, I get a notification from, uh, 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 YouTube analytics that tells me whenever somebody types my name into their video description and give me credit for the five spin and, and 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 some people i go to look th at those videos and i'm like they're totally doing not what i said they're just calling it five spin and it's like eh, you know you teach students physics and some of them go out there and build bombs you know you just I, I, sorry that's a terrible thing to say um and you know uh build a bridge that uh, uh collapses you know and it's just like i taught them the best I could and you have to sort of let students you know go off and do their thing yeah uh, Steve says my casino is as a 15 minute window and it's different in different areas of the casino um, I brought up I told everybody hey it only lasts for a certain number of minutes I don't know what those number of minutes are but watch out and now people look for it and they are like, oh, it's 15 minutes on mine and five on mine and boom, 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 boom. And it's like, great, you learned. Wonderful. Before that, people were like, time? What? And, and so um, this is progress. Yeah. Uh, it's lots of fun. Does it ever seem like the winds move through the casino floor like a wave in a sports stadium? I don't know. Does it move at yours? I mean, you'd have to actually move with it in order to be able to see it. What I found at, say, Peppermill is I don't play by the back door. 
I go over and and, and play by where the hotel entrance is because it's just better odds. I, I mean, I, I do that in my demonstration videos. Oh, don't don't head over there. Now, is it because of my strategy, highly visible machines, and the, by the back door, the, the the second back door, not the one my uh, daughter's family's slot machine is located at one of the doors is is just like don't even play over here yeah and it's and it's permanent <laughs> that, yep joe's asking all the right questions do you move with the wave <laughs> um uh, for, for me yes it does go to where it's hot or uh, know uh where it's going yep Yeah, uh, right. Never thought I'd be walking through various sections of a casino mumbling. It's awfully quiet in here. Nobody seems to be winning. I'm going to head back to the over by the other side where everybody seems to be winning. And it's not you. It's the casino. Everything is controlled. I mean, they don't choose who sits down and says, oh, John's sitting at the machine. They, they set it up by time and whoever, whoever's sitting there. So... Uh, and watch which way the hand pay attendants are heading at frequent times. Uh, there's also, um, uh, if you can talk to a slot attendant, you can sometimes ask, mm, is it a devious question? It's not a devious question, but maybe they won't answer. Hey, uh, what time of day do more slot attendants work? Which shift? has the casino assigned more slot attendants, like double of that other time? Well, you know which one to go to, right? Hmm? So you can really dig into this. Um, and I learned from you and different people crazy. Yeah, uh, uh, you're a learner. Yeah, I, I, I wish more people had stuff to offer. Um, I, I really do. Um, I have put into Slot Slabs what's out there. What's what YouTube videos have you found helpful? Because there's a few. Um, I, I mean, I wish I was. I wish there was a ton, but there are a few. I mean, uh, Neely seven 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 has some stuff talking about uh, 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 bankroll money management tips. I I think that's gold, and that that came out years ago. That's gold stuff, and uh, I'm kind of a fan. Um, but who else? has something that you use to win that's actually useful and not misinformation. And so we're, we're keeping an eye on things in Slot Slabs. That's part of Slot Slabs. Um, do you think they have certain machine that the casino picks? Yeah. I mean, it's not, uh, when you use the word pick, uh, I don't use that strong of a term. The odds have been set higher. That's how it's been picked. It's not like it says, there, there. It, 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 that sort of thing is more of a European. Um, uh, 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 I've seen software that's provided to European casinos to help them turn a slot machine into a raffle where uh, people win on the progressive at busy times because it doesn't help the casino if people win on the progressives when nobody's there. So they time the progressive. They don't time who plays it. They time the progressive to win. This is my lowest viewing live stream out of 217 <laughs> views. And people are just not interested in, in knowing about that. But it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Yeah. I always ask a slot attendant, how busy has it been? Yeah, absolutely. Um, be careful when you talk to a casino employee or former casino employees. They will tell you their opinion, what they think about decisions that the casino executives have made. When all they were was a sl lowly slot tech, you know, 10, 15 years ago uh, or currently working. Um, listen to what they say. Listen to the facts. And set aside, listen with a grain of salt, the opinions. Yeah. Oh, I saw somebody win in that machine, is, they might say. You should play it. And then you say, when? When did somebody win? What night was that? About what time was that? And then go back a week later. That's my deja vu method. So you have to evaluate what they're saying to remove opinion 
and use the data because they ain't got good data, but they mix it in with opinion. Yeah. I don't find helpful that huge bet. Yeah, $250, $750 bets. I mean, that's today's topic is small bankrolls. It, that's what everybody does. This, this, uh, you know, the fantasy of I want to make a two hundred and fifty dollar, uh, dollar bet, seven hundred and fifty dollar bet. Like, who, who, how, how can you help people? Who, who, you're going to help the people who bet that much? What? Um, yeah, I, 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 I liked helping people with smaller bankrolls, um, and because everything that people with smaller bankrolls do is what people with larger bankrolls should do. People with a $100 bankroll can't afford to waste anything. They've got to think, 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 and then carefully choose where to spend their money. And I only, oh, somebody's, somebody's on the move. Somebody's on the move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to put that back. Uh, they like to... Um, uh, what was I talking about? The, uh, they, 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 you know, I, I want people to, uh, you know, who spend a lot of money to be as careful as people who have a small bankroll. They do much, so much better. I mean, too often I see people with a big bankroll, $3,000 bankroll and like, well, I'll, I won't get serious about it until I get down to $500. What? You know, who's talking there? Yeah. Uh, Shawana uh, says, I love questions regarding the casino staff. Yeah. Yeah. All this is hard. I recognize all this is hard. Uh, and, um, you know, it's work. Uh, no such thing as a free lunch. Well, maybe for us. Well, no, we're paying. Uh, that's hmm. So I, I like saying no such thing as a free lunch to us because it's like, Oh, wait a minute. Is it free? Or did I pay for that? Like, like $500 for my free lunch um, to get that many points. Uh, uh, I ask things like quiet uh, today. But they often say, yes, Thomas says three hours ago. Yeah, not busy till tonight. If a lot of tenant is busy, it means people are winning. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I have an article about uh, Fox uh, uh, fire keepers in uh, Southern Tribal Casino in Southern Michigan, where exactly that happened with the conversation. I I related it almost word to word, word for word, and it was just like, I know, <laughs> um, Mr. Brain. Uh, do be careful. Uh, it is not what you think it is. If you go to Nevada and go to Uh, professorslots.com slash NV. All this is free. There is a um, additional article at the bottom. There's a lot of casinos there. I could only, I could only show you like the cities that have, <laughs> and I haven't shown you, like I live in Reno now over here and it's like, um, I, I cannot show you, uh, uh, um, uh, I cannot show you, um, uh, individual casinos, like my grocery store that has slots. Um, but be, be aware that if you go to professorslots.com slash NV, the fastest way to get to this is, um, oh, no, I didn't put it there. Okay, so what I want to do is uh, show you poker. Poker. Nope, um, I'm, I'm not sure where that is. I have an article on... Uh, uh, poker, I, I can't find it right now, unfortunately. Um, but if you look at Nevada gaming statistic, uh, gaming regulation 14.040, uh, page, uh, section five, page eight, uh, you'll see that it says that uh, slot machine, uh, video ma poker machines have the same odds as the table game version. Actually, it says any table, any video version of a table game has the odds of that particular game on from the table game no variation uh that's a that's a state law in nevada i've gone through all the other states 
No other state has that gaming regulation. So every other state has video poker, which is also a slot machine in my strategies to work on. In addition to you have to work harder than on a slot machine because you also have to have optimal play because it's video poker. Again, this may be over people's heads. Uh, yeah. But, uh, you know, you have to work at it to win. Jill says, my casino pays at 5, 12 p.m. Please, what casino is that? And what day of the week are we talking about? <laughs> Share. Uh, and if you know what's good for you, don't share. <laughs> uh, please don't hurt yourself on our account. Um, keeping a consistent play style is important to tracking the machine performance. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, and having records for that. One of the things we talk about in Slats Labs, not to go on and on about it, but uh, one of the things we talk about is have a plan. Write down your plan. Debrief before going, be after the casino. Think about what your goal is for that casino visit because there's multiple things. You'd be, you could be going with friends. You could be going to make money. You could be going on a scouting mission. Why are you going to the casino? Pick one. Yeah. Uh, and then before lunch, do one thing, and after lunch, do another. Uh, question from Steve. My go-to slot attendant told me they start at 6 p.m., and it was 8 p.m., and only paid two jackpots. I said, uh, oh, boy, it's slow. They said it's kind of, but it will pick up. Bingo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. These are the conversations you can have. Just know to have the conversation and listen with a grain of salt. Uh, listen to their facts. Uh, rather than their wild opinions, because everybody has wild opinions. Um, and I just stated mine. <laughs> Listen to facts. Crazy, John. Um, uh, Chris H., I went to Cachado last week and forgot my bankroll at home. Ouch. I had to be careful playing three days with the $40 in my wallet and $25 in free play. Came home with $8 profit. Hey, great. <laughs> I, I know you are especially uh, like uh, uh, as a slot slabs attendant attendee, I know you really, really like um, uh, uh, small bankrolls like penny machines that actually have pennies on them, or or you bet three cents. I remember you said, uh, and so uh, great, uh, twenty percent profit at a casino was great. Yeah, yeah. Thomas says, yep. Uh, hey, that cat looks like my cat who is in her fourth life. Uh, yeah. Thank you, uh, Emil. He's only about three years old, uh, and he's about 15 pounds. Uh, doesn't seem overweight. He's just a big cat. And my other one um, is uh, Emil, female, uh, calico, medium hair. I've never had a saw a medium hair calico before, but she's uh, beautiful, but small. Yep. Uh, Susan says, Friday after 8 on uh, at Firekeepers was good last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There are no table game versions of most video poker games. Uh, there, there is, in Nevada, there is, okay, you don't have to have the actual table game at the casino for it to have duplicate odds. But if it were a table game, it must have the odds of that game and nothing else, no variation in Nevada. I hope that makes sense. Uh, Jill, I didn't know that machines were programmed to win and higher bets, lower bets, like one machine won't pay on pennies very well, but it was pay better on $1 and $2 denomination to, to pay well. Well, be careful there. You said it will pay better on $1, which is when you are saying the odds are better than a penny. Uh, but the $2 denomination will pay well. That doesn't mean, but there your your words are not to say better odds. You're saying, well, the top jackpot goes up. So I could win, which is not the same thing as saying my odds are better. <laughs> I know, I know, it's hard. Wish you had that statistics class now, didn't you? <laughs> uh, Mr. Uh, Brain says, I cannot play jacks or better at a table game. So that doesn't mean to have the same odds as the corresponding table game. Uh, 
so it doesn't have to have the table game. I mean, there are a lot of slot machines in a casino, a lot, and there aren't nearly an, as many table games. So no, there's not going to be a table game in the casino which has that version of the video poker. No, 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 no. no. It, it, it's, it's going to have, it, there's going to be, there's fewer table games. But there is a table game version of that, you know, the game rules for it. And that's all you need is the math from that. I, 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 I I'm not sure I, um, I'm, I'm careful. I'm not sure I'm explaining my, uh, uh, my answer is getting through with my answer as well as I'd like. I hope that helps though. Uh, yep. Uh, I appreciate it. It doesn't make sense, Mr. Uh, uh, Brain. Um, I, uh, I, uh, good luck. Uh, Serenity, a few years ago, two slot attendants were chatting near where I was playing, uh, and one of them asked the other if he'd noticed the machines that have been paying out over every day between 4.30 and 5.30 p.m. All right? Facts. Facts. Yep. Yep. Good. Uh, please share the love uh, and uh, um, share uh, the this um yeah yeah please do um uh thank you so much um yeah uh yeah i i go into detail uh it's it's kind of like i forget the name of oh uh i got it i think i have it um professorslots.com slash video poker i try to make it easy to remember yes there we go professorslots.com slash video dash poker don't forget the dash. Uh, and here's the article. I also have a video uh, where I say the same thing. I also have podcast episode number 42. Uh, this is the gaming regulation in uh, uh, Nevada. Um, let me make myself small so maybe you can read it on a mobile device. Uh, this is the gaming regulation that I was talking about. Yeah, they don't say they have to have a table game in the casino that's the same as the video poker machine. Uh, they don't say that. Um, and um, yeah. And this is where I explain it. And how do I use which of my strategies, which of my strategies could work in video poker uh, and evaluate how to evaluate those uh, strategies on video poker. Um, and there you go. Uh, that, that, should, that should help. Okay. Oops. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, did you need it? Um, let me. Let me instead of just showing it, I will copy it. Be careful not to click on this uh, in the um, uh, live chat, and I want to do this so that it's available to Facebook as well as. Uh, be careful clicking on this. Uh, it, it might take you out of the live stream, uh, but there it is. Uh, what is it? Left click, uh, open new tab. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hope that helps. I've been watching a machine for more than two Christmases from 9,000. Uh, yeah, yeah. We can see from the Kashada data how long does it take between, I showed you the time it takes between majors, but we can also do the time it takes between grands on the same identical machine. And uh, let's see, I think there's a good one here we can do. Uh, let me go by, I'm going to resort this. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a long one today. Game title, uh, and then uh, date time. Yeah. Uh, and Let's go to the biggest jackpot ever won uh, in 15 months of data at Kashada. 41, 421,476 uh, and 11 cents on a progressive win on Zoltar in August 3rd. No other grand in 15 months was won on that machine. 
on 57.39. So I can't tell you how long it took to get this high. I've heard of grands that were 45,000. It took five years. The casino told one of my OSTA, uh, I'm a, a slots lab participant, took five years for it to climb that high. I don't know how long it took to, for this to climb 421,000. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a one dollar denomination machine. I, I've heard from people uh, that it was a, a nine dollar bet, physical real machine with a progressive jackpot. Yeah, but we can, you know, we we have to find slot machines with the same ID that have had a grand, and then we know how far apart they are. And I found 130 days. You know what is that? Um, four months. Uh, and that's that was for like a twelve thousand dollar grand, twenty thousand dollar grand. Yeah. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. That uh, that's that's uh, just looking at some of the comments from Jill and Mr. Brain, um, and uh, focus on. What else is needed here? Uh, okay, uh, that's it. Um, Johnny's here, um, and people are talking back and forth with Mr. Brain. Uh, and uh, Johnny says hello from Missouri. Hello. Uh, so sorry, but we're now coming to an end. Um, uh, that's it. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, it was what a great live stream. Thank you so much. Slots Labs is uh, starting tomorrow. Please sign up if you're interested. Uh, I'll see you. It's never been cheaper. I'll see you next Saturday. And thank you for everybody who has already signed up. I'll see you next Saturday at noon Eastern. In the meantime, I highly recommend you watch this demonstration video on playing machines using my winning slots methods at uh, uh, Pepper Mill Reno. And this video demo demonstration video at Pepper Mill, taking advantage of the lucky chance spin on a lightning cash machine in their high limit room. Enjoy.